Guys, did you hear we have a complete Denisovan skull now? This is actually my second video about this topic because I had to make one that was just context-free, excited yelling, but now that's out of my system, I can actually explain what that means and why it's important. Okay, so what is a Denisovan? So in 2008, this group of scientists sequenced the mitochondrial DNA of this tiny little piece of a pinky bone that was about 50 to 70,000 years old from a Neanderthal site in Siberia, and they discovered that this individual was not Homo sapiens, not Homo neanderthalensis, but in fact a member of a secret, undiscovered, extinct species of human, which has been nicknamed the Denisovan hominins or the Denisovans ever since because they were found in Denisova Cave. But why do I say nicknamed? Well, this species couldn't have a scientific species name because all we had left of it was this tiny little piece of a pinky bone, a couple of teeth, I think there's like a jaw fragment maybe, and like a piece of a rib turned up somewhere else a few years later, and all of that is what is considered in paleontology non-diagnostic, which means there's not enough bits of them to formally describe and name this species. The only reason we know this species existed and was different from sapiens and neanderthalensis is the DNA itself. Until, in 2018, this big skull turned up in China and experts could tell just by looking at this from the like external shape of it, this is not the face of a sapiens human, it is not the face of a Neanderthal human, this is a different human. And so in 2021, this new species was formally described and given the scientific name Homo longi, which is Chineseified Latin that approximately means the dragon man. Side note, this specimen has a crazy history in and of itself. It was discovered in the 1930s by this like construction worker who hid it because he didn't want the Japanese occupiers to get at it, and then after the occupation was over he continued to not tell anyone where this skull was because he was ashamed to have been working for the Japanese at the time, and so he just like didn't tell anybody where this was and then told, I think, his son, maybe his grandson about it in a deathbed confession who went and found the skull and gave it to a paleontologist. So like this whole story is bonkers. Anyway, they just managed to get mitochondrial DNA out of this skull, and by they I mean these people Shout out Fu Xiaomei and team. Excellent work because now we know the Dragon Man was a Denisovan. So now the Denisovan hominins have a face and also turns out they've had a scientific species name for four years now and just nobody had made the connection yet. Oh, also, kind of a lot of modern Homo sapiens are partly descended from Denisovans. Like a tiny bit, we're talking something on the order of 1% Denisovan DNA, but still, I think it's like mostly Southeast Asians, Pacific Islanders, and Aboriginal Australians. So if you are a member of any of those groups, uh, this guy might be in your family tree. 